This next guest on the Darren Yates Show, he is one of my favorites. He is a, he, when I was on um, Morning Drive Radio in 2014 on the X, I had about 10 to 12 people on my roster of co hosts. And this is, he's one of them. We called him Kid Arthur back then, but now he is Sir Arthur. And he was with me when I first did CBS Sports 920. Our show started at 5 at 4.40 in the morning. He's the first one there waiting for me, ready to go with a sword, a cape, Ooh, nice. and his badass self. Welcome to the show, my friend. Hello. Thank you, Sir Dan. Darren. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> it's all right, brother. It's been a while since we, we talked, and we had a little uh, falling out. You and I get mad, or you get mad at me every we, now and then. We didn't have a falling out. We just had a little bit of a difference of, like, how I could control what my parents saw and what I <laughs> <laughs> Right. Mm. And you live with your parents, so are you, are you no. got your own place? No, I, I haven't lived with my parents for a long time. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's been a long time since right I on. lived with my parents. I got you, man. So tell us about this garb you got on. Did you make that yourself? No, I didn't make this. I bought it on eBay. How is that in the heat? Like, I mean, it's hot out. Is it like, does it deflect? Is it wicking the heat? I'm wearing a t-shirt right now, nice. so it's not very hot. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, nice. nice. I, I imagine you get a lot of like airflow, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, breezy. Yeah, it looks very heavy metal. Thank you. So, I, so Kid Arthur, I mean, you have so many talents, and I think a lot of people don't know how <clears throat> how many like things you you've you've done and been in the past. So, I, I kind of want to start from the beginning. You were born and raised where? I never asked you that. Overland Park, Kansas. You were raised in Kansas, okay. So now, at what age? Did you know that you were part of uh, like an elf or a werewolf or a, or a vampire? No, seriously. Okay, so I was. How, how did it start? I was in Olathe, Kansas when I was 16, 17, somewhere in there. It's like Morrison with the Indians, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And hey, real quick, yeah, we, I mean, we have. We was, have oh, was, go ahead. No, go ahead. I, I want to yeah, introduce yeah, Topher yeah, Bayless yeah. in the house with us. Yeah, I, mean, I was <laughs> trying to explain. Right. Mike yeah. the ex-con. What's up? He, he just forgets about us. Yeah. Yeah. He does, like, he's a piece of shit, I'm telling you. He does like to the, me every time. We're like the herpes of the show. Yeah. At this point. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll get better at that. I, I'm with him everywhere he goes. He just don't ever remember me until it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, was, I was in Olathe, Kansas when I was 16 or 17, and there was a vampire at this coffee house called G Coffee House. It was a place where musicians came and performed for youth mm -hmm. and there was a vampire there and he says hey guess what i'm a vampire i was like really <laughs> and so i watched the way that he carried himself and noticed okay there's something different about this guy yeah. Yeah. and then he showed me his teeth so i was like Oh, oh, I'm so okay. glad he said teeth. Yeah, yeah, I was like, okay, you're a vampire. Did you put a mirror you up to him? bite me? I asked him to bite me. What? Did you put a mirror up to him to see no, if like, I didn't his reflection? That, How'd you know he, he bit me? And there was like two little puncture wounds oh, right yeah. here. Maybe he was but, just a spider. And so I was like, okay. And from then on, I was a ghoul. Not a vampire, I was a ghoul, because I, he did not drain me of all my blood. Topher oh, looks okay. perplexed. You have I a question? Am, I mean, I just I don't know the vampire rules, you know? So I'm, yeah. I'm like, right. I'm just wondering, like, when the hunger started ravishing you, what did you do? Well, really, all I was Great was question. a ghoul, and I can't really talk about how I got no, food because right, I understood. don't want to die. Right, so. <laughs> I, 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 I What happens talk about if you talk about it? So, like, like who's your, who are you afraid of? Is it like a CIA thing, or is it like... Is I don't like want to talk about the it. The International no, Vampires Association will no. strike her down. <laughs> it's well, like, oh, kind of, but I'm not yeah. talking about the it. The pentavalent. <laughs> you can't talk about it. Yeah. I understand. So then, okay. so the, what about the being an elf? Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I met a shaman at my fraternity, the Rosicrucian Order Amarch, about a few years ago, and I asked him to heal me of my mental illness. And so what he did was he 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 talked to me for a while, and he got to figure me out, and he said, "Hey." You know what I just figured out? <laughs> the reason for your mental illness is the fact that you're a ghoul. And you're, so it, it does cause people to be a little bit crazy to be a vampire or a yeah. ghoul. So. Well, a lot Did of people get, don't believe in that. So if, if, yeah. if you're talking about it, 
you know, of, are, of course they're going to think you're crazy if it's not something that yeah. they believe in. Yeah, but he, I mean, he did well, it. Well, actually, so. you are a crazy. Like, if you are a ghoul or a vampire, you are, you are crazy, crazy because yeah. that's okay. That's what did it, you get the teeth? Did you get the teeth in or anything? Like, did you saw them down? I don't see. Oh. <laughs> mm. yeah. Okay. Now elves still have sharp teeth. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, weren't yours yeah. pointing or something for a while there? Or? They're they're yeah. pointing now. Yeah. yeah, they're pretty sharp. You might not be able to see that on camera, but yeah, we should get a close up of that. So yeah. I got asked about the, the female situation because you. I'm not gonna lie. Every time there's a female co-host around here, you <laughs> you chatter up. You're very charismatic. <laughs> yeah, they all He's love got you. The vampire. They, they love that. this guy. He's yeah. so yeah. mysterious and yeah. cool. And yeah. thank you. No, but seriously. He's also an elf too. So that and he's an elf. Yeah, yeah and think of the. What My guy bad. can say that? Think of the Lord of the Rings type of think of the Lord of the Rings yeah. type of elves, okay. not like not like uh, the German elves or Will so Ferrell. You're, like, you're probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably <laughs> pretty like badass like with bow and arrow and stuff. Huh? <laughs> Actually, I'm good with a sword. Claus! I'm good with a sword, but not a bow and arrow. No. Damn, dude. This I, is I mean, I didn't me. grow up in the medieval times. Is that like a dick reference? Like you're good with a sword? You know, I'm. I'm well, I mean, not with guys, but... <laughs> he, yeah, he's pretty good from what some yeah, girl that, said. Those Who said are, that? Well, she said, I'm not going to lie, you know me, I keep it real. She yeah. said you're hung like a camel. <laughs> I guess, no, camel do camels one. have big ones? I don't know. I don't know. I've never I thought seen they were more famous. Where's our interns at? Google that shit. <laughs> this, I thought this, camels, this, camels this, home. This, thought, is, this is advice for all white guys. Use a pump. Dude, I, <laughs> I wore a penis pump once. You it's gotta use weird, it though. proficiently. Like, that how, sounds like how extravagant. Often? Have you ever had a penis pump, Topher? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Why would I need it? I don't know what I would need. They're it useful for, for anyone. Like a camel. They're useful know. for anyone. I thought camels were more known for their toes. True. <laughs> so do camels have little ones? <laughs> I don't know. They do no. got big toes. I've seen some big camel toes. <laughs> big ones. Big ones. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> massive <laughs> camel toes. Bad thick ones. Fuck. But is it on purpose? To- Two slams a ham. Yeah. Camel toe. Is it like purposeful to show it off or just happens, you think? I think it's purposeful. I it's think it's gotta so be. Too. Like, look at my muff. Yeah. You know? Right. Look at that thing. <laughs> Might as well have an arrow pointing to it. Yeah. <laughs> just sniff it a little bit. Is that, is that weird? I smell it. Only when it's across the room that you're <laughs> sniffing it. Imagine you know sniff. <laughs> so, Arthur, no, man, this is all fascinating because normally you're a co host and you chime in, but to really dig deep into, into this, man, it's fascinating. So, what's Thank the difference you. in a ghoul and a vampire exactly? Okay, so a ghoul is half human, half vampire. From time to time, my vampiric tendencies like would, Tover's into this. He's like, all right, he's okay. into it. Would come to fruition, and they would, you know, so you would be able to see that I was so like, how is like that? a vampire? Like, what? like what's? Give me some like example. Long teeth, um, dead looking face, cunning. You no. Know, can you become one, or do you have to like be one well, or whatever? Well, first you know? and foremost, like to Topher you have a to be bit like okay. at least a vampire or an elf mm. to become that. So and elf carries the vampire gene too. Yeah, but I'm completely harmless. I I don't. I'm not into harming people. So like, what's the more accurate? Is like Twilight or the Lost Boys? Like, which one's more accurate? Good, of que- a- good question. Good question. Well, those are vampires. I'm not a vampire. Well, I know that, but I'm talking about as a depiction yeah. of a vampire. Yeah, like, if a true vampire. Like, I've never met a vampire until, well. You're the closest you know, thing right. we have to vampires. Dude, so you should amazing. have the yeah, know what. It's you know, I mean, Lost Boys you know. was a good movie. Yeah, see, um, see, I'm there. What I'm was the, the other one? Twilight? Yeah. That's just so, the whole other animal. Yeah. So I, I just I thought really... it was ridiculous anyway, Twilight. Or Underworld, you know what I mean? Like the light. Like he gets thing. in the sun and he starts glowing gold. He's like, look at me, shimmer, shimmer. <laughs> Give me a break. I grew up knowing you're melting if you do that. <laughs> I, I don't watch Twilight anymore, but I thought it was interesting and eye candy. But dude, the, yeah. so the females, you you got them around you. Yeah. Do you close the deals? Is it weird to have a relationship with I don't the females? Date kind of humans. normal. I that's, don't, that's, some, that, that's the answer I needed to hear. Yeah, I don't date humans. Oh like, my gosh, I'll date a mage. So, could you but tell? But that's not extremely human. How do you like, find a them? Ma- like, what how is do you that? Find What's like a mage? A, a mage is like somebody who's into high magic and oh, okay. mysticism. Okay. I'm like also into high magic. Like no, Jimmy not Page? a witch. Not Wasn't a witch. Jimmy Page a mage is not a witch. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't was. date a witch. No. I would date a mage, a female mage. Um, 
So how do you find them though? I mean, like, is there a dating rare. site where you can be like, hey, very, I'm looking for rare. an elf? How do you they're, find other elf elves? I don't I don't date a whole lot of elves for real because they're a lot of them steal and spread sexually transmitted diseases. Ooh. St. Louis must be fucking full of elves. <laughs> full of elves around this mug. This so is fascinating. do you okay so that fucking dating pool must be rich around this motherfucker I, I have to know since you're an elf when you are out in public you're out doing a club you're out doing stuff you're picking up chicks or chicks are picking you up do you know when you're with another elf like when they're there do you have like a secret elf knowing like, great hey, question we're dude. elves like a sense or yeah. a, okay, like so vibration do you or talk about it you're like I can, hey i know you're an elf we're an i elf. can right. tell if somebody's on the spiritual level and Sometimes I'm like, oh, is that an elf or, you know, like, Maybe. but yeah. they have to really tell me for okay. me to know it's true. Okay. Like if, if somebody, huh. you know, like I can be like, I can speculate, okay. but people are many different things. Like right. people, people, she could be a witch or right. she could be, cool. a, she could be a mage. I can usually tell when, when a chick that's is a mage. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. I can pretty much tell when a, when yeah, a woman it, is a mage. That, so, that's what Oliver You liking. seem to be like tuned into a whole lot of things that. Thank you. I mean, like, like you have oh access God. to things that the commoner right, wouldn't have right. access oh, to. Oh, 100%. Right. One bro. question. 100%. That I'm, I, I love can it. Can you dude. introduce me to an alien? <laughs> no, he's been talking about. I'm a star seed. That's the best that I can do. Go talk to Elon Musk. He's an alien. Well, I believe. Yeah. I believe. I honestly believe if there's an alien on Earth. It's, it's Elon already. Musk. So what no, about it's, Bigfoot? It's, Is Bigfoot real? I believe in Bigfoot. Yeah, I believe too. Bigfoot's pretty much in all different uh, regions oh. and countries. Yeah, yeah. He's the man who one day came and decided he would go to the forest so that he didn't have to fight any wars. Mm. Mm-hmm. Which just seems like with so but many girls. But he's dangerous too, yeah, though. So yeah. don't go out to yeah. see him. Is that torture? Do you see all these cute girls that, that want to be no, with you, but you no, can't date humans? Is that torture. weird? So no, you, not at all. It's you're, more like, uh, it's and gross. they're like, <laughs> you know, you're not petting them as a cat wants to be petted. They're kind of, and they they can't yeah, figure out why he's yeah, so, right. you know. Well, he's or, like, like you know, he's at a different kind of level. I think with what we're hearing, you right. know. And let me ask you this, Sir Arthur. My burning question. Did you or did you not play Dungeons and Dragons as a child? One. I watched question. it on television when I. He, I just, just, he gets this question a lot, don't you? Or you have in the past. You said you hate when people ask that. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Okay, that's that's fine. I yeah. I just I'm just not. It really reminds me of that though. Like I think of like orcs and dwarves and yeah. like when he's yeah, talking, yeah. I'm like I'm thinking, oh my god, I feel like I'm in a new. Like a yeah. new world. Like you know? I'm just not Stranger into. Yeah. I'm not into those type of no, like really board is. games. Like yeah. that's just yeah. not my thing. Yeah. Like I medium. like it though, and I liked the co- I liked the the, uh, the cartoon. That okay. was cool. Okay, dude, yeah. I mean, that's a, he's that's real. That he's that's legit. That's he strange. would not. I mean, if he was kind of a, you know just like an actor or something faking all this shit, yeah. he would he would love Dungeons and Dragons. The fact he doesn't uh, shows that he's. Yeah. It's authentic. I think we're scratching the He's authentic. Seriously, with Sir Arthur. I think we're I mean, only scratching the you know something funny? Oh, I didn't even totally. like King Arthur books when I was a kid. I thought. I so how like, did you get the name? Well, my name is Arthur. I kind of figured that, but like, yeah. what and made you decide to go the the royalty route? Well, you were okay, King well, Arthur on exactly my show, right? Royalty, aside from the fact that I'm connected in a small way, well, not in a small way, I'm connected to Queen Victoria, as far as my. Sir title is And can you tell us more about wow. that? Okay, so I'm a Rosicrucian. Okay. Amarch, ancient mystical order Rose Crucis. And it's a fraternity and a sorority, and I can't talk about too much. Yeah, that's Rosicrucians led to the Freemasons and all that, right? Mm-hmm. We're similar to the Freemasons. We're diff- we're like brother and sister to the uh, to the Freemasons. Like the nice Templar like the and stuff Freer. like that. Yeah, Masons. we're connected to that. Yeah, we're connected to the Templars. Do you believe in God? Or? Well, I mean, whatever you call he's an God, elf, like, dude, of course do you believe in God. Jesus Christ? I, I, mean, I think is the question he's asking. I mean, I I believe in all the major avatars like Jesus, Krishna, Buddha. I follow all of that. Okay, like, mm-hmm. Papa Poo Poo. I don't. I don't know who that is. That's you know <laughs> Hawaiian God. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Peter cool. North is. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on. He does. He learned it from me. Yeah. I've taught you some things, bro. Sir Arthur's slinging it around. He's like, ah, oh, let me sling this over. He so, slings like, it over his like, shoulder. I, and I know you said some things you can't talk about. So like if. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings if you can't tell us. Dude, but don't like, get us killed. How do you get? How do you get knighted? 
How I'm do you not, get that I'm not, shirt? I'm not able to talk about that. <laughs> we got to turn that. our heads. I'm not able to talk Because it's actually a big ceremony. It's you know, like, if you've yeah. been to Buckingham Palace, which you, I have, you, you, know, you would I've know I've never been to Buckingham Palace. Yeah. Um, something that I can't talk about, which yeah. is the reason why I am happened Yeah, we can't push him on that. Bam. Well, we got to wrap Maybe up in a few minutes here. Maybe we get it like like your last memoirs. You can give us the, the scoop. Yeah. Read well, I'm hoping to live forever. Well, so. <laughs> me? So what Fucking is, too. I like elves, this guy. Elves, elves, I'm like sending my daughter years. to medical school so she can make sure you know I live forever. Yeah. That's so, good. So where, and hey, you, you, oh, my bad. No, go ahead. Go for it. Okay, so you mentioned aliens, right? right well, yeah. Nostradamus predicted that the aliens would make themselves known on the big scene this year. And they're supposed to make us more yeah. calm and live longer. Well, they're so, supposed to be wow. a big spiritual well, shift happening this year. It wouldn't right. be crazy if you found out that you were an alien. Like you're looking for them all the time and you or find out you're I was one. An that would be nuts. Yeah, like badass. Like I, sh- I should have been looking in- <laughs> inside this whole time. <laughs> Fuck. So, so Arthur, you're also, you're also a musician. You play right, drums, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got great. a lot of hip hop beats on the radio. I think you I, need your own podcast. Yeah, oh, wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. I do. Could you thank give us a beat here of some kind, or, or no? Like, I don't here, know. Here, I'll give you the beat yeah. that I okay. use. Give us a little the demise of Eminem. Boom, boom, bop. Boom, boom, bop. <laughs> boom, boom, bop. That nice, dude. <laughs> no, no, get into it more. I get into it. That, that's the beat. Okay. Do you want to <laughs> That's it. Give us some bars. You got some bars? That's good. Well, I don't rap. I'm a drummer. If you want to listen to my drums, check out Sir Arthur Frenzel on YouTube. Nice. There's only two videos that Lawrence White recorded me of my drums. But if you want to hear my drums on the radio, listen for my name in the song. Arthur Frizzell or Arthur or Er. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Er. That's, er. That's, that needs to be your hip-hop name, Er. It is. Er. er. It is. Yeah. But I also go by Sir Arthur, and I also go by Arthur Frizzell, and I also go by Er. So it's all those different. So things. Kid Arthur started. Did that start on my show back in the, years ago, or was that? Did you? That was a little bit before okay. when I did the Big Brother Nietzsche show. Yeah, you guys. This how we. You guys. That's how we discovered Arthur. I was shooting a scene with Hung Howie, Howie Hirschfield, a New York City comedian. We'll have him at some point, and we were doing some stuff on in the loop. And he was doing some improv, Im, improv stuff right, like right. 2013 or whatever. Was it 2013, I think, right? 20... Is that the year? I'm really yeah. bad with years after a certain And he point. just walked... <laughs> no kidding. I mean, the he guy just, has lived like a million years, probably. He just I'm walks kidding, by. I'm 44. <laughs> he just walks by with a, with a do-rag on yeah. and just gave us the weirdest look and said something so weird. It was awesome. <laughs> and I'm like, hold on a second. Wait, wait, stop. Everybody pause. Hey, what's your name? I know. So he walked by when we were shooting. That's how it started. <laughs> and then from then on, we, uh, we I gave him my car. Like, do call me, man. Let's do some stuff. Yeah, I, uh, I, <laughs> I, I put an ad out on Craigslist. So oh, you, oh yeah, you thought I was a Craig? Oh, yeah. I thought you were somebody He's responding like, to my ad. I, I, I put an ad out on Craigslist. I was like, wow. yeah, that was awesome. in the loop today, searching for talent scout or something to that effect. I know. <laughs> right on, dude. Well, dude, I love you, man, and thank you so much. Where can people find you? Do you have any like, uh, like, like you know? Like, uh, no, find me. You guys have any questions? That was the question I was going to ask. Where can people find we're, out we're, more yeah. about Sir but, Arthur? But we I, need Arthur here back because I have I have at least three more hours worth of shit yeah. I need to know. But I first want to ask right, you, like, you, what is your dream <laughs> job? What do you want to do for the rest of your life? What's your mission? Just give us like okay, that statement, so, and then where, where people can find you. I'd like to be an actor. I I've done acting before, um, like I said, mm-hmm. and I also. Really want to be well known for my hip hop beats because it seems like pe- only a couple of people I know in St. Louis know my name because I'm an introvert. <coughs> yeah, and my friend Jeremy is pretty much the only one that said, "Hey, I heard your name on the radio." Might have been a couple of yeah. others, but well, dude, most you, of the people I know you have such don't cool seem to know how much exposure i've had on the radio and yeah. they 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 probably don't know my last name or they just pass it on up they they're like hmm and i even told one of my female friends once th- about it and she called me a liar so i'd like to get some recognition yeah, for what yeah rub done. it in that bitch's face well, i'm with you and you have yeah. such a cool story too i mean what, what you've been and gone through and stuff so so Thank kudos you. to you man for for doing yeah i'm yeah, I want to someday move to Nashville and be a studio drummer for nice, many man. different artists. Nice. And where can people find you? Is there certain uh, just on on Facebook, social media, or anything? I don't really do Facebook. Like I said, yeah. I'm an introvert. I don't right. really do a whole lot of Facebook. <coughs> yeah. Like, 
I you want to be famous? I, go home today and start a TikTok. Yeah, start You'll a be TikTok. famous in two weeks. TikTok, you don't stop. <laughs> he would, right. I think he'd TikTok, be awesome yeah. TikTok. Yeah. I need to find somebody to record me. I've got my friend Bob. I, okay, so I'm doing the meditation album, and my friend Sir Wendell is recording me. He's got a green screen. He's and nice. too, I guess. So, Can we get a... Uh, like a preview of what your meditation technique is? No, well, okay, yeah, we can. It's um, it's going to be a, it's going to be me on Jimbe with my brother Bobby doing, or he's my sir brother Bobby, and he's he's not a real sir, but I just call him that as a nice thing to say. He's yeah. going to be doing his heart, but I'll do some chanting for you. This is going. To, I hope you're not offended by Hebrew God names because that's no, the, no, okay. we're good. Holy shit. Those lines. Oh my god. I'm so glad I asked that question. Yeah, I, yeah. I so felt so that, relaxed. dude. Thank That's you. Great. Arthur, thank you, man. Give me some knuckles here. All right. We got to get Arthur. Topher back. Bayless, thank you, my friend. Hey, this is a great show. You guys are doing Fun. great. Love you. Mike Descon, thank you. Randy, thank you. Andrew, behind the behind the glass here. Drew. Love you, Drew. bro. Man, thank Drew you. The Shock City Music, man. We uh having some fun here. All right, guys. Yeah.